Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, today we're going to be working on a little project. I'm helping out a friend of mine and a viewer uh, that asked me if I would do a little favor for him. And what he sent me was uh, a little piece here. This is actually a mounting plate for a camera to fit up on a tripod. He says it's an older model. This thing is obsolete. He was wanting an extra uh, plate here to mount another camera to and uh, couldn't find one. So he asked me if I would kind of make one up for him. He actually sent me along a little piece of aluminum uh, that we're going to carve this out. So let me kind of zoom you in here and show you what's going on and uh, talk about some of the challenges and how we're going to go about getting this done. So my first thought on this was is that hey, we got a, an angle in here. I just come in with a little dovetail cutter and basically cut that out. So I went and grabbed my dovetail cutter and came over here and realized, whoops, the angles aren't right. So, you know, this is a 60 degree angle uh, on, on this uh, typical dovetail cutter. And when I check my angle here, come in here like this using my angle finder, it's a, it's a 70 degree angle instead of a, uh, instead of a 60 degree. So what to do, what to do. Uh, I actually looked to see if I could find a, a different dovetail cutter with a different angle. And yeah, they're out there, but they're expensive and they're not real common. So uh, instead, I think what we're going to do is we're going to set this up over on a little angle plate where I can just change the angle of the work and basically tilt the angle up of the work up to that angle and then just come in here with a straight cutter and cut each side and then I can basically flip the other part on here without taking it off the fixture, flip it to the other side, cut the back side so that my two sides should be parallel to one another. So that's my game plan. So I'm gonna take my vise off and get that angle fixture over here mounted up and uh, we'll see if we can get this part knocked out. I've got this, this uh, angle fixture over here. This is actually the first time I've used this. This thing is brand spanking new, but I decided before I went and bolted it down, I was just going to check it um, with my precision ground uh, flat stones here and just hit the bottom of this thing to make sure it's flat. And actually, when I first started doing it, I said, well, I'm going to put this on camera. This is, but this thing here is, <laughs> let's just say that there's a, a lot of little raised burrs and little raised areas in here and you can tell i don't know if you can see it on camera but you can see the little high spots in here where it's wearing so it looked pretty darn flat there were some pretty big burrs right over here on the edge of this so you know anytime you're even if it's a brand new tool don't assume that it's just like it needs to be i mean i probably could have clamped this down to the table and it would have been fine but now it's going to lay a lot flatter uh, hitting this with the precision ground bench stone. So anyway, another, another reason why you want to have a set of these in the shop. All right, here's the, the top, the table side. Yeah, <laughs> it's not near as flat as it looks like. This looks like it has been ground, but I mean, you can see the patterns in there. You know, this is a, uh, I think this one's made in India. It's not Chinese. It's probably a little bit higher quality than a Chinese version would be, but I can feel the, the rough spots in this thing. So let me, uh, let me work on this. I mean, it's, it's pretty darn flat, but it's far from being perfect and you want your work to lay flat on top of stuff like this. So I'm going to work on this for a few minutes and get it smoothed out. Got the table mounted on here now and I uh, got it pretty well trimmed in. I see we dropped down to about a thou below there when we started moving the table. So we'll really count that as zero. And it's moving around a little bit, but it looks like that front face isn't ground perfectly flat. There's actually about a thou difference because that's about where we started over there and it raised up about a thou here in the middle but I'm going to call that parallel that's as close as I can get it well guys I lost a little bit of audio from a dead battery in my microphone so I'm going to uh, just narrate a couple little scenes here with you but you can see we've got the part mounted on the angle fixture now uh, and right now what I'm doing is we're coming in we're just touching off 
uh, to get a good cut there. And we've got the table tilted over 20 degrees, which gives us that 70 degree angle. 90 degrees minus 20 equals 70. And we're going to come down through here and make a pass. And I think I'm making a 60 thousandths cut coming through here. Now, if you notice, uh, I've got the part mounted on the table actually sitting up on some parallels, which gives me some clearance up underneath the bottom for my cutter uh, to come down. I, that way I'm not cutting into the table. It just gives me some air up underneath the bottom there to make that pass. After I make this first pass here, we go back and forth several times, and uh, this is the last pass coming here. Uh, basically just getting this side cleaned up so that uh, we had a nice cut down one side. Uh, once this pass here is done, what I'm going to do is we're going to tilt the table over 20 degrees in the other direction, and that will allow me to cut the back side, and it should all be parallel, so one side will be parallel to the other. We're working on the back side here now. Got the table tilted over. Already made one pass. I'm going to feed in about another 60 thou here and uh, scoot on down there and clean this one out. Looks like it's cleaned up down through there. And we're about 100 thousandths too wide still. So uh, let me take another couple passes. measurement yeah we're uh, right where we need to be so that did work out fine I'm just gonna I think take a real slow pass down through here just to make sure we get a good nice clean surface just let it shave that off We got it. Got our dovetails anyway. Well guys, I need to clean these ends up and um, I just need to make them square basically. And I just decided, I, there's a million ways I could do this, but I already had this mounted up on here. I'm basically just using it as a pallet now. I just turned it back over to zero. I could have done this directly on the mill table. Could have done this in a vise, but since this was already on here, it was just easiest to do it this way. So I just ran my indicator along this face over here, got it running parallel to the mill, and now I can cut these square. So we'll just come in, touch off. I don't need to take a whole lot off of this uh, length. We'll just run down that one and clean it up. We may have to make a separate, another pass. cleaned up. Maybe just a little bit right there. I'm just going to feed in a couple more thou. And I think 
Nothing, they got it. And we'll go to the other side, do the same thing, and then check our length and get it to size. Barely touch off here. Run the length. That might clean up. It did. All right. Let's see what we're at on the length. So we're five, about 15 thousandths over five and a half inches. And the original is five and a half inches, so we need to feed in 15 thou, clean that up, and we should be good to go. So, right there, Just using the digital readout to make that measurement. Put a little lube on there. Make a nice slow pass, get a good finish. All right, I think we've got it. Got our angles and got our length. Uh, so now we just need to work on that little slot for the mounting screw. Down to the last step here, I think, uh, and that's gonna be, we gotta put a little slot in here. This is for a screw. This is a quarter 20 screw that basically you put into the bottom of your camera and you mount your camera to this plate. And quarter 20 is pretty much standard on that. And that's what we got here. Now this one's got a big knob in the bottom and, uh, and it's actually made where the screw is captured in there and won't come out. Really nice, but we're not gonna go to all that trouble. Uh, I'm just going to be using a socket cap screw. We're going to drill in our mill a slot all the way through there, and then we'll make a larger slot behind it that this uh, counter that will let the the head go down into the body, and uh, then we'll just have a, a quarter twenty screw come in the backside. So I need to cut the slot. First thing I'm going to do is just drill the ends, uh, so I don't have to worry about uh, getting the, the the end mill all the way through. So let's go ahead and do that. Got a quarter inch drill bit in here. Go to the other side. nothing critical about the placement on these. I just got some marks in here to kind of get it where it needs to be centered up in the end to end, about an inch from each end. All right. We got our quarter inch end mill in here now. So uh, make us in a couple of passes. Go back and forth. This should be the last pass. Be out the bottom now. All right. We just need to feed this down in there now. Give us that clearance for the head of that cap screw.
probably need just a little bit more depth on that. I just want to, we got plenty of room in there, but just want to make sure we got it down where it'll clear real good. And that should do it. I believe that we are done. So that drops down in there. Now it's nice and below the surface. And I think we're all good. And just like that, guys, we are done. That will get the job done. He will now have himself another plate that he can mount a camera to and use with his tripod. And I'm gonna get that in the mail, head it back to him. I think that'll be a wrap, guys. I'm gonna get this headed back in the mail over to John. Hopefully this will serve his purpose well. And hope you got to see some new little things here using the angle fixture. This first time I've used one of these in a long time, and this one is a new to me angle fixture. And uh, while it's an import brand and maybe not the highest quality in the world, it's plenty good enough. It gets the job done and it got the job done today. So I'm happy with that. And uh, I think this will be a valuable asset to the shop down the road anytime we have in this kind of strange angle milling stuff going on, which comes up from time to time. I've had to do some workarounds before when I really needed something like this. So excited to have this new tool in the shop as well. That'll be it guys. As always, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time around. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave comments if you'd like. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.